Okay. Let's um, see what else we got here. The notion of two realities is uncomfortable, and in recent decades a genuine effort has been made to find the link between quantum and classical so that we can have a single reality whose laws and rules are united at some deeper level. This brings us back to prayers. Let's say that a prayer is a classical event or feels like one. You, a unique individual, have a particular request which you voice in words that no one else is speaking at that instant. What if this classical event gets processed at a non-local level? The notion isn't far-fetched because it seems that the mind-body link does consist of fluctuations at the quantum level. If this is so, then any thought, not just a prayer, has quantum implications. Deepak Chopra, A Spiritual Mystery, Does God Listen to Prayers, Part 2. Alright, that was a bit, uh, serious. All right, so we've got a solar panel here, but the solar panel isn't working. Or it's not connected. Just... Oh wow, there's there's boats and other islands. Okay. They're not like a way to rotate this towards the sun, I guess not. I guess not. Ah! <sighs> That was even that was so freaking bright as well. Holy cow! <laughs> okay, can I look the other way? Okay, well we need to like work out how to turn that maybe. So we'll come back to that bit, I guess. I think that picture is a reference to the. Um, the uh, the mazes, uh, the light puzzles. Sorry, in uh, the original. I so want to believe there is. Um, environmental puzzles in some way, shape, or form. Like, that would, like, line up beautifully. But, uh, we'll keep looking. There is a boat. Maybe we can't cross the lines, can't cross the streams. Okay. Let's head down to this boat. A ship owner was about to send to sea a venerable old ship. He knew that her barnacled hull, however, had often needed repairs, and doubts were suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. The conscientious old captain thought at once to have her thoroughly refitted, even though it should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he managed to stifle these bothersome misgivings, and said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages that it was idle to suppose that this trip should be any different. 
he put his trust in providence and banished from his mind all ungenerous suspicions about the honesty of the ship's builders and in such ways he acquired a sincere and comfortable conviction that his vessel was altogether safe and seaworthy he watched her departure with a light heart encouraging the crew to dream of the profits that this voyage would return and he got his insurance money when she went down in mid-ocean and told no tales <laughs> what shall we say of him surely this that his belief in the safety of his ship was justified because it was grounded in repeated practical experimentation rather than the hubris of rationalistic a priori belief it is admitted that he put his confidence in the builders of this vessel but even this confidence was misplaced for these were the selfsame charlatans who sought to sell him gratuitous repairs later on and big ship is always trying to get one over on the little guy further we may see that the ship is religion and the shipwright is richard dawkins the crewmates are empiricism and the barnacles are neoplatonism and the captain of that ship was albert einstein all right you've lost me what the hell was i talking about <laughs> I have no idea. You completely lost me. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. I wonder if... Okay, I don't know if it was just the fact that you go from the S to the E, and likewise, or if it was just that my first line was uh, a little bit uh, dodge. Probably more of the latter. I've got some pirates here. Bad line. Okay. Yo, crazy! What's going on, dude? Welcome, welcome. You can only get good at chess if you love the game. Grandmaster Bobby Fisher. I hate chess. I hate chess. I hate chess. World champion Bobby Fisher. <laughs> Oh, jeez. All right, so there's nowhere else to do anything there. Is it black? Yeah, okay, so yeah, king's been beaten well and truly. Can't do anything else here. All right, let's continue on round. Okay. I wonder if we line this up, we can shoot at the boat. I think we probably can. Down with the fleet. Uh, this is actually a game called The Looker, which came out a couple of weeks ago, and it's actually a parody of The Witness. Crazy. We'll make it four out of four. Yeah. Oh, I missed one. Make it five out of five, maybe. Let's 
sounded like a door just opened somewhere. Down here? Oh, okay. I'll screenshot that a minute. Playing air hockey. That's going back up there. Instagram's like going crazy. Like constantly today has been sending me messages and like notifications for stuff that I really don't care too much about. I guess we can't um, do anything else with that, but do we not go from We've got to keep the line pretty straight. I have like a diagonal cut off. Mika's probably having moments here. I know Mika likes his Nokia phones. Victory! We win at Snack. A little bit of Snack, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, where to next? We're still missing like something. Oh, hello. Okay, the panel is on. The box is moving. <gasps> What's inside the box? They nerfed it? Or are you talking about the, the snake minigame? Okay, we have a kid's menu. Which way are we going? This way, up, round, down. Open up the gates. Huzzah! It's into the maze. So we all know the the rule of a maze is you you pick a side and you hug that side all the way around, right? 
Uh, if you're talking to me, crazy, yeah, I applied the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I put on the reward for completing the summer steam challenge thing, whatever it was. Which is like some real weird glitchy profile thing. Way to the house there. Is there actually a way out of this maze? Or is this now our life? This is your life. If you find all ten, um, <clears throat> if you find the ten fake games on the store, then you get that as like a, a bonus. All the uh, the stuff. Wait, I could have sworn. I'm gonna go back a minute. I could have sworn. That when I was at the top, there was things in that maze, but we went all the way around there. I didn't see anything in there. What is this tomfoolery? What is it playing at? I went all the way around, Deathwish. Well, I had seen it all. We go and have a look. See this stuff in the middle. Ah. Are you telling me? Are you telling me that my my method of maze traversal has failed me? Can't believe it. All right, I need to take a left. I think when I come down this right-hand side, I need to take a less, a less. I need to take a less. That's what I need to do. We all need to take a less. Oh, but also, hello. Just let that one sink in. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. I love that. That's really quite clever. A really cleverly made little Easter egg there. Jeez, okay. Ah, this one. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, uh, uh. Wow. That room was terrible. That room was actually... Oh, I see you, crazy. I see you. Hey, we can get a better look at the maze here. Oh, hi. All right, we'll go back and uh, we'll go back and have another go. I don't want to be missing no achievements. Let's say another one's coming out on top. bit lower maybe it's going differential how you doing <laughs> oh, dear god jeez All right, now we can go and do this puzzle though up here. Now that we have power on the panel. Oh. What are we? What are, what are we doing here? Do we even have to do anything here? Let's find out. Okay, so, um, Am I just meant to, like, cover them all? Is that the idea? Because obviously that pink one on the left is the the symbol in the original to cancel out uh, a match. But I'm... I mean, I don't want to underestimate this game. But, um... Okay. There's more to it than meets the eye. I mean, based on, like, witness logic. Is it just a case that we... Uh, I can say, is it a case that we just separate off the... Yellows like that? Nope. Alright. We'll, uh, we'll come back to that one. I'm not sure what I'm doing there. We've got to go and uh, 
have another go at our uh, our game over here. If we need to score over 600 points, because you know, pointless achievements and stuff. Starts off so easy. Luring you into a false sense of security. I know it's not the witness. Missed it. Damn. Alright, I just need to hit three on this next screen. What? Oh my god. That's insane. <laughs> All right, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. I'm not going to take no for an answer on this. I would have hate to have played this on the original before it got nerfed. Oh, rubbish. Rubbish. All right. I need to, uh, I need to learn to draw lines. Can I have a beverage to, to while I wait? Let's actually practice this like next bit. I completely like messed this up clearly. I got one. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Can't I just have like a whole like game of like those ones ah miss two no that's not good miss three not good oh I need to hit five then on this last screen this last screen is the worst Do you know what I think makes this last screen like hard is like you're at a slight angle. Because you're at a slight angle, I don't know, I, I kind of feel like it makes it that little bit harder. I love the fact though that it's like completely randomized, so it's not just like a case that you can learn a pattern and be done with it. Man, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just not quick enough. How did I score like 550 in my first attempt? It's beyond me. Like, jeez. All right, I will come back to it. I'm not going to tie myself down with that just at the minute.
Let's go and um, back to the maze. Okay. Go this way. This time, I think we want to go left, then right. No, I'm back at the beginning. How do I manage that? I don't know. Hey, we made it to the middle. Excellent. Okay. Okay, maybe this is going to teach me Okay, so I can go through purple. Go through diamonds. Okay, we just have to go through everything, it seems. No. Okay, why didn't that work, I wonder? Hmm. Oh. Okay, I think I get it. I think I get it. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay. So if I'm thinking about this right... The trick to this is the amount of corners, I think. See, I think it's the, the, the number of corners you have to pass through. You have to like pass through them in smallest to largest. So obviously this is just teaching you that you can go through anything. So yeah, if we were to try and do it this way around... This should fail, I think. Yeah. So we have to go through the moon first, then through that one. I think it's corners. I think it's like points. So again, if we go through the star, before we go through the other one here, this should fail. Not, totally not going to fail because we can't draw a line and keep a consistent line going, of course. Yep. Yeah. Alright, I'm happy. I, I'm pretty sure I got this. It's okay, so I guess that's what we was um, learning in the middle of the maze here. I don't believe there is anything else to do. Alrighty.
Okay, so we should be able to then go and solve the other one. Let's go and have a look at the beach, though, first. Oh, there's nothing to do here. Okay, let's head back then. I assume our like end goal here is to get up to the top of that tower. Okay, so from the start, one, two, three. Two threes and two fours. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, maybe I need to pick up the maybe I pick up the moon last. Probably should have done a bit more uh, experimenting with the Ansel. That's not right. So, Deathwish, thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Catch you later. I don't get it this time. I might have to go back to the middle of the maze. Where I think I need to probably pick that up though before the moon. Alright, let's go back to the middle of the maze because clearly I'm I didn't understand something properly. <laughs> 